there is some kind of um, genetic basis in the sense that it, um, having a certain set of genes raises the probability of being gay, at least for among men, I think, uh, you know, less than the of women. So if you have a, a one identical twin who is gay, uh, his brother is much more likely to be gay than the base rate in the population. However, the identical twin of a gay man is not guaranteed to be gay. There are many sets of identical twins where one is gay, one is straight, and that means it can't be completely genetic. It could be that the, there are uh, processes that take place in pregnancy that alter the wiring of the uh, uh, baby boy's brain as a result of perhaps antibodies or hormones in the internal uh, bloodstream. There may also be factors of sheer chance that, uh, that, that we may never understand. Uh, that uh, what, what is not in, in that doubt is that most cases of exclusive homosexual orientation, at least in male, are not voluntarily chosen. Uh, most of the gay men feel uh, stirrings of attraction for the same sex around the same time and very shortly before puberty that heterosexual boys feel attraction toward uh, girls. Uh, this is experienced as something that comes over uh, the, uh, the individual boy, not as something that he ever uh, chooses. Uh, what causes that uh, the development of paths go in one direction versus another, other than the fact that there's a statistical genetic contribution, uh, I don't think we would 